Today you join me back on the new build where we are setting out all of our pad stones and getting all of our brickwork and block work up to underside of Joyce height. Today we have 11 pad stones to put on. Today, big push to get all of the pad stones on and then also sort out all of the middle walls because all the middle walls are currently quite low down. So we'll just point and if you get me one, two, three, four spot boards, set for that scaffold there, please. finished off the block work, brick work, pad stones, all up to underside of Joyce or 2100 regarding those pad stones there. What we have over there is a beam, a 203 beam sat on those pad stones and there's no brickwork or masonry on top of that beam because we've got a, another steel beam what is going to be sat directly on top of that so it's going to be like a point load over there. We have something very similar here with this is where we're working uh, with, with all that mess so what we have is a 1500 concrete lintel sat from this point going there now the reason we have that sat at underside of beam which is no underside of joist level which is 2.4 is again we have another point load here and what this beam is actually called is a spreader spreads and disperses the weight plus we've got such a small 100 mil nib here with having such a big point load on such a small four inch wall and it's not returned really we need something to counteract that weight so that spreader is going to help disperse that weight so we're just setting some levels now so that's going to be underside underside of joyce but also that's top of my nine inch spreader i've also got a lintel sat from there to there now the head height for that is going to be 20 25 so it's not 2 100 and the reason that's been dropped of course is to do with this whole setup we've got going on here so i'm going to work out all my heights now but i was just trying to get you and you into the loop of what we're trying to do pull this wall through sort this spreader out and then in a little while jake's already getting set up over there for us so we'll pull through this last middle wall and then finally we can drop onto this bit of block work there because uh, the clients had a big big get together last night and nothing's getting changed there because last time i think we spoke the windows were getting blocked up and so was the door 
but solutions, no problems, have sorted something out. So on with this. So it's going to be a block there, a block there, then biscuit lintel connecting, finally connecting and freeing up, stabilizing that small pillar because it's been like that for ages. And then it's going to be a coarser brick all the way across, spreader, and I'll figure out what to do there in a minute. Uh, yeah, it's taken a little bit of time, um, but I'd rather make sure everything's bang on. So I'm going to get stuck in and set this monstrosity up. Jake is going to continue loading out stone. Do you actually need some more stone picking up? I shall do that now in my baby forklift. in and then oh, it should be about 80 inches to allow for a door frame two oh two no two oh three five eighty and a quarter inches mint the foreman asked me to leave 80 inches from underside of our lintel down to our finished floor level so we can get a slightly smaller door frame in there. This door frame is just going to be standard height, but uh, this little door frame, I mean, it's only like a 710 opening, so it's quite small anyway. It's had every single floor joist turn up, but there's no crane or IAB to take them off. And obviously you've seen how big this house is, so I'm probably going to spend about an hour right now um, offloading all of these joists. We'll get back to that in a little bit, but for now, I need to get on my happy little machine and start sorting out all of these joists. Okay, we need to lift it up so you can see the block I've left for you. Three, two, one. Nice. Good. A little bit heavy. It's not like bad, but. Yeah, yeah, I do. So, three, two, one, up. Nice. And then I guess rest it on your tummy a little bit. Okay, I've got a hand under it as well. <laughs> okay, really good. There she goes, cool. And then I'll slide it to my profile. <laughs> That's quite heavy, that, yeah. isn't it? Um, just push from your side, just ever so gently. Lift and push, lift and push. Nice. Okay, nice one. Put my line back down. And there's a lump hammer to your backside. Ooh, it's not bad, that. Mm. Wicked. Thank you very much for your help. I appreciate that. Oh, that's rough.
We need to uh, get that genie lift in here in a minute. And then, I don't know how big those concrete lintels are. I think they're massive. If you can see this little tie we've got in here, it's just these things. Reason I put them in, because one internal wall works heights and like gauge one way. And then when we're using like different size lintels and we've got different head heights like we have on this wall, um, yeah, things just aren't working quite to gauge. So that's why I've thrown one of them in. But of course the briquette now will send me up to... No, it won't. It won't send me up to lintel height. That'll send me almost to lintel height. I've got one more course of briquette to go on top of this. And then that will send me to my lintel height. That pillar over there is throwing me off. It's because it's coursed down. Bang on, to 100. Sand, so we got our briquette up to 2100 on this silly small pillar and on this main run. And Jake and I have just hauled in the genie lift, which was a bit difficult because the scaffold's in the way. Um, and then we've just got our 225 mil or 215 mil nine inch concrete lintels to go on. That's gonna be sturdying up this silly pillar. And there's also another one to go on right here. Um, there's, I think, some joists running over these or maybe some joists sat on them. But in all fairness, there's actually not much weight above this. Uh, the engineer had just really over-engineered everything. But I guess he's only just covering this back, isn't he? So we're gonna throw this on right now with a gene lift. Should be really easy. So we should save our backs because we've been thrashing them all day. So. Oh, I would say let's use our muscles, but you know, let's just get winding. Push it over that trestle now. Whoop. It's okay. Ooh, nice. I've got 140, and on this side, I've got 170. Just gently start winding down. Just keep it there for a moment. Perfect. It'll just be a, a thin bed over top of that. Okay. Nice. All right, pull it back. Pull it back. What a silly, silly design. This one can go right close as well, can't it? <laughs> Little bit more. Nice. Bit more. Bit more. Lovely. Okay. 
Right, lower it down ever so gently. Sit and I'll support it and get some moral support. You've got this, man. Okay, badass. Down she goes. Nice. Nice, good stuff. I'm going to keep this short because we have really been caught out. So we had a really good day today. We was able to get a load. Sorry, this is really rude. Let me face you. Uh, we was able to get a lot, of, a lot of work done today. Really happy with what we've achieved, little Jake and I. Uh, we've got a load of pad stones on, which is fantastic. We put on all of these silly nine inch concrete lintels. So we've got two of them on. We put this, this little biscuit lintel on. We also, if you can see through there, put that on today. It's been a very hectic day. It's like quarter to five. I'm so sorry, Jake. Um, but really, really decent. So next time we come, all we've got to do, bit of block work there and a pad stone to put there and two more pad stones right on the entrance hall just behind me. And then the joists are here. So the joists will be going on. We'll be dropping onto stonework dobbing on all of our exterior lintels. So, fingers crossed next time we're here, really, really decent day, everything done up to joist level, then we will be on stone. So, oh, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> I'm rushing so much. Thank you very much for watching this one, really appreciate it, and we will catch you in the next one.